dear final year civil stream students i welcome you all into my channel hope you are all doing well so lots of students were demanding for the passing package uh, for the subject 21 cv 71 so the subject name is quantitative survey and contract management sorry i have here written the contract management so there is a spell mistake don't worry about it so quantitative survey and contract management right so its subject code is 21 cv 71 let me discuss here the passing package for you students first of all let me tell you it is the combination of uh, problems and theoretical portions also first of all let us discuss the theoretical portions uh, starting from your last module okay that is module fifth that is theoretical and your first two modules are problematic there will be 20 marks or sometimes a 16 marks problem over there okay and as far as notes are concerned i have some handwritten notes i will provide the link in the description box through which you can practice the estimation problems first of all let us discuss the theoretical portions from the model fifth itself fifth is here explain briefly any four of the following earnest money deposit this is a super important question and security deposit letter of intent and breach of contract what is tender and explain the procedure of invitation to tender or uh, tender notice next one is mention the different types of contracts this is a super important question okay this may be the 15 or 20 marks question uh, in the video examination uh, mention the different types of contracts and explain any four types of contracts list and explain the components of a tender document and differentiate between open tenders limited tenders and negotiated tenders what are the duties and liabilities of contractors as per a construction contract what are the procedures for terminating a contract under what circumstances can a contract be terminated what is a measurement book discuss the procedure for recording and checking measurements explain the process for checking and verifying bills before payments are made to the contractor so these are the questions from your model fifth now let's come to the model four some theoretical portions are there so let me discuss it over here that is define rate analysis what is its purpose in construction projects explain the procedure for rate analysis of earthwork in excavation for different types of soils calculate the rate analysis for 100 cubic meters of earthwork uh, excavation in hard soil considering standard labor and material rates and what are the steps involved in rate analysis of cement concrete how does the mix design affect the rate analysis of concrete and compare the rate analysis of brick mason and stone masonry what is the procedure for rate analysis of RCC works including materials labor and equipment and how is the rate analysis for steel works for example steel windows and ventilators carried out right so these are some theoretical portions and again some super important questions are here that is cement concrete 1 is to 5 is to 10 in foundation BBMM in CM 1 is to 6 for superstructure 12 mm thick plastering in cm1 is to 6 for brick walls mosaic flooring or a base course of cc1 is to 2 is to 4 rcc work slab beams and columns so this is all from module 4th right next we have module 3 in which you have to go through some theoretical portions like uh, define the role of microsoft excel or similar software in estimation how does it enhance accuracy and efficiency explain the applications of excel in estimating quantities and preparing bills of quantities and uh, list and explain the advantages of using estimation software over traditional methods define specifications where are they important in construction projects and list and explain the objectives of writing specifications in construction what are the essentials of a well written specification provide examples or write the detailed specifications for concrete work in a building brick masonry write the specifications for aluminium partitions used in office uh, spaces and prepare detailed specifications for aluminium doors and windows fiber doors used in bathrooms and wooden partitions in interiors and explain the different types of claddings used in buildings with their advantages and disadvantages so this is all from your model third so make sure you will go through these questions so if somebody wants to pass this 21 cv 71 subject they have to concentrate on three modules fully and taking some problems from first and second module right if somebody wants to score as it is uh, obviously the scoring subject first two modules can decide your score in the examination that is your problematic part estimation problems are 20 20 marks so better to focus on the problematic part over there right as notes will be available in the description box so let
that we discuss over here on which topics the problems will be there so first of all let's discuss module first explain the types of estimates compare detailed and approximate estimates with examples this is the theoretical part which may be the 20 marks directly okay so next one we have problem prepare a detailed estimate of a single room building plan and dimensions will be provided you know already in the examination there will be plans and dimensions will be available right use the central line method to calculate quantities so uh, for these type of problems you can also refer 18 cv 71 paper okay so kept this thing in mind you have to refer 18 cv 71 paper for your reference uh, just to go through the varieties of problems dimensions will be given try to prepare a detailed estimate next we have uh, the again the super important question calculate the quantities and cost of materials for a two room building using the long and short wall method assume necessary data that is uh, data will be given over here right so i cannot uh, simply write over here and copy down the data so you can refer the previous year papers to check the data over there right next we have a theoretical part write a short note on enclosures of an estimate list and explain the general terminology used in estimation next problematic part prepare an approximate estimate for a residential building of 100 square meter using the plinth area method next we have again theoretical part that is explain the units of measurement for common building items brickwork plastering rcc flooring etc and their significance in estimation next uh, the topic is building estimation Estimates. So we have the possibility of question prepare a detailed estimate for a framework structure with a slope plus RCC roof So again the data will be available in your question paper next we have calculate the quantities of materials for a masonry wall of a given dimensions including deductions for openings next we have calculate the cost of materials and quantities for an RC slab culvert of specified dimensions assume the unit rates for materials and labor next we have prepared a detailed estimate for a pipe culvert and uh, including earthwork and laying costs so necessary data will be given again in the problem and manhole and septic tank these are super super important questions right so you, you don't have to neglect this one prepare a detailed estimate for a rectangular manhole of space by dimensions include excavation brickwork and rcc cover slab next we have calculated the cost and quantities of a septic tank of given dimensions including excavation brickwork plastering and rcc slab so this is all about model first make sure you will focus on the problematic part you can easily grab 20 marks and so you can practice from the given notes itself next we have model second again the problematic module so where we have some problems like prepare a detailed estimate for a flat rcc roof slab of given dimensions including calculations for concrete reinforcement and force uh, sorry form work Estimate the quantities and cost of materials for a slope RCC roof with a pitch of 30 degree. Assume required data for the calculation. Next we have estimation of steel truss. We have the possibility of one question that is prepare a detailed estimate for a steel truss for an industrial shed of given span and spacing include calculations for steel members and connections next we have estimation of culverts so we have here again one question that is prepare a detailed estimate for a box culvert of specified dimensions including excavation concrete reinforcement and form work so next we have estimation of manhole and septic tank as i earlier mentioned these are some super important questions uh, surely we will ask the question on septic tank or manhole prepare a detailed estimate for a manhole of a given depth and dimensions so including the calculations for brickwork plastering and rcc cover slab next we have estimate the quantities and cost of materials for a septic tank with a capacity of uh, 10000 liters and including these uh, parameters right next we have explained the step by step procedure this is a theoretical question they may ask in the examination explain the step by step procedure for estimating a septic tank with necessary components like inlet and outlet chambers next is the measurement of earthwork for roads so from this topic we have the possibility of three questions one is the theoretical part and rest of the problems using the mid section formula calculate the volume of earthwork for a road of given length width and depth with cross section details and estimate the volume of earthwork for a road using the trapezoidal formula for given and areas uh, sorry for given and areas assume 
the required data which will be given in the problem next one we have compared the midsection trapezoidal and prismoidal formulas for earthwork computation highlight their advantage and limitation this is the theoretical part so there are some chances from this part also right next uh, last we have here project preparation topic uh, we have the possibility of one question explain the components of a preliminary survey report psr for a road project discuss its importance in project planning with this much portion you will get some idea how to score in 21 cv 71 so for those students i am again repeating this those who want to pass the subject try to focus on three modules fully uh, if you are taking first two modules that is the problematic part estimation problem and septic tank and manhole problems if you just go through you can easily grab 20 marks or sometimes 16 marks question right so rest of the modules are theoretical you can also go through the model fifth model fourth and model third if you are good in the theoretical portions if you are good in remembering the theoretical part so for those students surely go through uh, three four five module and uh, for those students who are good in problematic part so they have the advantage they can also score in this particular subject so make sure you will refer these important questions and go through the notes which will be available in the description box so this is all about the passing package for civil stream students i wish you all the best for your examinations thank you